Welcome to our Information Security Legal Issues module on Intellectual Property Laws. It is important that you are familiar with licensing and intellectual property rights as a computer security professional. Intellectual property is an intangible asset, intangible meaning that you can't touch it, that is the result of your creativity or the use of intellect. Intellectual property is recognized as a protected asset in the United States copyright law and also includes electronic formats. Copyright law guarantees that the creators of original works have protection against unauthorized duplication of their work, such as their books, music, movies, or paintings, for up to 70 years after they die. Trade secrets are confidential business secrets, also known as intellectual property, which are not released to outsiders. If these secrets were lost or stolen by industrial espionage, the information would severely damage the business. Trade secrets can be protected forever. Trademarks are unique designs or phrases or logos that are used to represent a brand or identify products and services. These can be protected for 10 years and can then be renewed for 10 additional years. Patents are designed to protect inventions or items that you can physically touch, also known as tangible items. The main organization responsible for protecting intellectual property rights is the United Nations World Intellectual Property Organization. They handle complaints of copyright violations as well as enforcement. Trade secrets are very important to the success of your business. In order to be considered a trade secret, the information must be reasonably protected from unauthorized disclosure, it has to be proprietary to your company and it must be critical for your survival, and it must provide some competitive value to your business. It also must be genuine and not something that would be obviously discovered by anyone else running the same type of business. A copyright protects the author or an owner. Copyright protection lasts the entire life of the author plus an additional 70 years, or in the case of a corporation, it protects for 75 years. The work does not need to be registered or published in order to be protected, and it protects the expression of the ideas rather than the actual ideas themselves. Copyright laws allow the author to determine how their work is reproduced, used, or distributed, and there are some limitations such as first sale or fair use. The principle of first sale means that the individual who purchases a copyrighted piece of material, such as a book, has the right to do what they please with it, such as throw it away, give it away, or maintain it forever. This is not a copyright violation if you purchase a book and then give it away to a friend. The fair use restriction allows people to use copyrighted materials for criticism, parody, reporting the news, teaching, etc. without being in violation of the copyright law. For the CISSP examination, you should remember that copyright protects the author for works such as books, music, or movies, and that it lasts for the author's lifetime plus 70 years or 75 years for a corporation who produces some type of work. Trademarks will protect symbols, shapes, sounds, or colors to identify a product and distinguish it from others. It can protect your company's look and feel from being stolen by another company, and it's typically used for operating system logos and corporate brands. Trademarks are internationally protected by the Trademark Law Treaty Implementation Act. For the CISSP examination, you should remember that a trademark must distinguish your brand or company from others. Patents are issued to protect creators of inventions who have filed for legal ownership of that invention. The invention must be a novel idea not previously produced and not obvious, and the owner will have the exclusive control of the invention for 20 years. For the CISSP examination, you should remember that a patent does not protect an individual unless they actually file for legal ownership of the item. This is different from copyright law, which does not require the author to publish their work or request the protection. It is automatically provided. It is important that our company and our employees do not violate license agreements and do not steal intellectual property from others. Software piracy is a big problem in many businesses where software is used without permission or without licensing. Software is an intellectual or creative work that can be duplicated without permission, and that is considered software piracy. 
Software is considered intellectual property and therefore is protected under copyright law. And employers can be liable for violations that are conducted by their employees. And that is important to remember for the CISSP examination. The Software Protection Agency investigates violations of software privacy. Digital Rights Management, or DRM, is a copy protection technology that can be used to control content once it is sold. It tries to prevent individuals from making unauthorized copies or distributing any copyrighted intellectual property after it has been sold. DRM technology has been used by iTunes for many years to protect individuals from purchasing a song from iTunes and then selling it or giving it away to all of their friends. This concludes our Information Security Legal Issues module. Thank you for watching. Thank you.